Hey, what's up guys? Hey, Terry here, 2-6, two 2-6 six, two six player now. In this video, now this is, this is vintage 2-6, okay? As you can tell by my sweater vest, this was way back in the day uh, when I was in Hilton Head getting my, uh, my swing together. Now, um, but just goes to show you how nothing's really changed, okay? But, but, but here we go. Guys, when I take the club back, okay, and this is, this is very, very, very basic, but it's, it's everything that we need to, to understand. So, so let's just say I'm centered, and when I'm centered, my, my sternum is pointing a little bit in front of the ball, okay, just a little bit. Okay, so when I go back, I want to try my, and this, this is probably one of my best 2-6 swings, so uh, my swing has definitely regressed over the years, <laughs> from what I can tell. So as I, as I take the club back, notice the sternum stays in place. Now, that means I'm staying centered. Notice the lower body, okay? The lower body, okay, here, oops, sorry about that. The lower body, the lower body here, okay, let's look at that area here, is not moving, okay? A lot, of, a lot of guys, I see a lot of guys that lead knee, the lead knee starts to move too quickly. But we wanna try to stay as quiet as possible here because, <clears throat> excuse me, when we're maintaining space, as soon as we start maintaining space off the ball, we're starting to generate what? We're starting to generate a lot of power in the center. It's starting to store in our center. So don't think just because, you know, the body's not moving or the body's not loading on the trail side that, that it's not doing anything. It's actually storing energy. And you'll see as we store energy, as we move to parallel or as we move past the parallel position, that's when the lead knee begins to what? That's when the lead knee begins to move down and bear weight. Okay, so when I pass parallel here and I get into the sling position, that's when the, the lead knee begins to bear weight and the rear hip begins to load pressure. Okay, you've got to understand this. But again, look at my sternum. Look at the green line that I marked. Look at my sternum. It has not moved. My arms are now maintaining space, creating width. Okay, and we have to understand this. This is a drill. We have to understand this drill because, again, this is the most important part of the golf swing by maintaining space off the ball. And then as we start to create width and get to the top of our backswing, now when we get to the top of our backswing, we have a better opportunity to drop the club because we what? Maintain space, created width, created resistance, the body stayed quiet, but yet it's, it's, it's a quiet killer because it has a lot of, lot of potential energy stored in the center. So, so I hope this helps. So we've got to really, really understand this. We've got to dig into this and, and make sure that we turn this into a drill, okay, that I have on my drill series so we can automatically be better ball strikers immediately come spring, okay? Hope this helps. Talk to you soon.